What's going on? Ms. Ruth, you are in dangerous Why waters. If those men find out you're playing them, all dead. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, it's your homie, Futuristic Mike, and I'm back with another Tyler Perry's Ruthless video if you're new. Now, we're going to be talking about Andrew, man. He's an undercover cop, but will he get caught? Now, if you're a fan of Ruthless, if you love Ruthless, hit the like on this video. If you're new to my channel and this is the first time you're finding me, subscribe and turn on those post notifications so when I post videos on Ruthless, you get them. Now, at the end of the last episode, you know, the new episode that just came on, we seen Daikon say to Andrew that he is an undercover cop. Daikon caught Andrew looking in a shed for the keys, except Daikon didn't know that he was looking for the keys, you know, the keys to Lilo's car. He said that he was looking for his stick, his lucky stick. Now, out of all things, man, Andrew couldn't have said something else. But it's cool, though, because Andrew, he's swift with his words, man. He always thinks of something slick on the spot. So I'm not even going to say nothing about what he said, because even I probably wouldn't come up with no shit like that. Honestly, even though it sounded real silly and it sounded stupid like a stick, you know, it still made sense, though. Like maybe somebody does have a lucky stick. Maybe they have it around at all times and they play with it when there's nothing else to do. It does make sense when you think about it. Now, Daikon said that is strange, and he calls William over to help look for the lucky stick. Except Andrew kind of slips up a little bit. I mean, honestly, so far in this show, Andrew has been very, very good at not slipping up, at not making stuff obvious. But right now, in this particular scene, he kind of gave himself away a little bit because he was like, oh yeah, I lost it by the other shed. That's why I'm checking sheds. So the way he said it sounded real suspicious. So, you know, Daikon, he started talking to him after that. And, you know, he was telling Andrew about how the highest beat those people in the woods with a bat. He said he didn't shoot them, he beat them. And then Andrew is like, damn, okay. Daikon says that the highest likes to get his hands dirty. Andrew says, I definitely see that. Then Daikon starts talking about how there's probably a plant in the sheriff station because the new sheriff didn't have nothing in his desk. And it's weird that a new sheriff wouldn't have anything, you know, any of his belongings, paperwork or nothing in his desk. And he said, I also think that there's an undercover in here. He said there's word that there's one in the compound. And Andrew is like, really? Who do you think it is? And Daikon says, it's you. I think it's you. And that's how the episode ends. And I ain't gonna lie, man. That was a hell of a cliffhanger because once again, my mouth was left wide open. You know, my jaw dropped. I didn't know what to say. It was kind of like that cliffhanger when the highest beat the six people to death. I'm just like, hold on, what? What? what what's going on here? But honestly, I think that Daikon might say that it was a joke or he might be testing Andrew or he might say something like it's you you have a special assignment to find out who the undercover is maybe that's why he said it's you not because he really thinks it's him but because he's gonna tell him that he has to figure out who this undercover is I don't know that's just a couple things that I think might happen but then again you know Daikon really might be on to Andrew so we just gotta wait and see but do you guys think Andrew is going to get caught for good this time? Do you think his cover is blown? Personally, myself, I do not think his cover is blown. I think Daikon, like I said, is going to say that he's joking with them. He's testing them or something like that. So comment down below and let me know what you guys think. Comment your thoughts, theories, predictions and everything else. Keep supporting your boy. And I'll be continuing to bring y'all ruthless content in the future. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And smash that notification bell so you can never miss a video. If you guys want to donate to the channel, I got links below to the PayPal and Cash App accounts. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me get out of here, y'all. It's your boy Futuristic Mike, and I'll talk to you on the next one. I'm out. Peace.